I think it's good to try out new stuff sometimes, too. Especially with a new game. Don't really know how it's going, but... We'll, uh... We'll upgrade this. The reason this thing's base damage is probably so high as well is because it's had, like, three upgrades on it. I mean, this probably is not gonna get near this, you know, in three upgrades, but... The scaling could make a difference. You never know. Let's try it out. Enough blabbing. Let's actually like try it out. Care. I, go. I feel like this might just be a little bit too slow or a little bit too too weak for my liking, but... I don't know. Sharpening the blade increases HP restored with each successful hit. So you'd pretty much have to, like, two-hand it and then, like... Left trigger that bad boy. And you just switch it back, and then it's all glowy. How long does this last? How many hits does it last? I have no idea, but... Apparently, that's how it works. Let's go. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more exploring on my other character. That was pretty fun. I mean, it was a little bit of backtracking, but it was a lot of new stuff. I had fun with it. I don't know. I don't know if you guys did, but I did. I had fun with it. All right, let's go over here to... Uh... This halfway fortress. I'm pretty sure this is the last bonfire we got to. I just saw this message pop up here. I can't take this. Is there a cat, like, meowing somewhere? Sounds like it. Going crazy. All right, these two NPCs are also gone. A couple of summon signs here. I'm fat rolling as well. This sucks, man. No treasure ahead. What could I swap out? How much is this way? This way is like point... This way is half. Half of a pound, pretty much. This thing's going to be pretty heavy, isn't it? The weight's seven. Yeah, there's definitely a cat, like, mad somewhere. All right, well, we got that out of the way, then. There's my mouse cursor. Move that out of the way. All right, now that we've gotten the cat situation under control, I need to figure out what I was doing. Oh, yeah, I'm fat rolling because of, of this weapon. Well, let, me, let me wear this real quick. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Still fat rolling, unfortunately. Can I change into the Mira trousers? Will that stop me from fat rolling? It will. I look pretty nice, too. I mean, the helmet's a little bit out of place, but... Helmet's just a little bit out of place. But I look pretty nice. Look at that. I look pretty nice. Alright. I don't even know which direction I need to go. Someone left a summon sign here. I think this is the wrong way. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna guess that is not the way that I need to go. Let's try this way. Let's see what we got going on over here. Some enemies with some really bloody tree branches, it looks like. What is this? Alright, so that took like three hits. This is probably going to take like, I don't know, two, three hits probably. Let's see. Nah, it only took two hits. The reach is a little bit... Uh, the reach is a little bit less, but... Speed's a little faster. Can drop down here. Take a nice shortcut, maybe. I don't know where that goes. Something sounds pretty big and nasty around here. Oh, it's probably that dog. I'm 
My guess is it's that dog that's growling down there. And I guess we'll see how how uh, this weapon skill works. Not sure if it lasts a specific amount of hits or a specific amount of time, but not seem to last that long. It's probably more useful if I'm hurt, because obviously it heals, so... Oh man, that really fucked me over. I feel like the weapon is decent. Oh, I got another Titanite chart. I feel like it's decent, but... I feel like it might be just a little too slow and maybe a little too weak. I mean, I don't dislike it already, but... I can probably go back up there and, like, take that shortcut. Oh, man. Why did it sound... I got invaded by Watchdog of Farron Theodis Sal... What? Oh, look at this guy. He's... I'm pretty sure this is an actual invader. He's just, like, sliding around over there. Well, I'm gonna try my other sword, then. Against some invader dude. I don't even know where he went. He was just, like, sliding around over there. Oh, well. It's time to get my ass beat by an actual invader. I don't know where he went. He, like, ran away into the forest, so... I figured he would have came and, like, looked for me, but... Why would I, like, run in there past all, like, all of these enemies? He probably has, like, a specific spot, like, set up. He's gonna try and lure me into that specific... Wait, what the fuck? Did I just get invaded by someone else? I don't know what is going on here. I've been invaded by like two people. Oh yeah, this is definitely like... Let me guess, this is the area of, of the game where uh, you just get invaded by like random people because of the covenant or something here. That's my guess. This guy's just gonna beat my ass with this sword. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I actually hit him once. Sweet. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Seems like he has a sword that's pretty good against shields, I would imagine. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, the other invader's like... Oh, he wasn't even close to me and he killed me. That last hit wasn't even close to me and it killed me. Come on. I was dead anyway. My guess is that this area works like uh, some of the other areas in the game. Well, the, the past games. Where if you just walk into it, you just get invaded. Because I find it really weird that two people just like randomly invade me. After not getting invaded at all. And he had a pretty good weapon to deal with, you know, shields. Just two hands, the uh, the quick shield that just drains your stamina. So you need to stop blocking and attack him, or just get your stamina drained and you're dead anyway. I guarantee, if I turn back into human, I'm just gonna get invaded again. Well, I don't even think it's turning back into being human. Here, let's do it. Let's restore our ember. And I guarantee I almost get invaded twice immediately again. Can almost, get, I'm gonna say like 80% chance of just getting like extra invaded again.
about to die. I don't even need to get invaded at this point. I'm just about to fucking die. Oh, man. Why did I aggro all of these enemies? That was really stupid to do. Alright. I was hoping I would have a bit better of a chance with this sword, but... That, uh, did not work. If I keep getting invaded, I'm about to just start using Estus flasks when people attack me. I'm gonna throw away the honor and just heal. I'm gonna get yelled at one way or another, I guarantee it. Either I heal when people invade me. Oh, come on, dude. Either I heal when people invade me and get yelled at by the people by like, I don't know, I guess, you know, random people for not having honor. Or I don't heal and then I get yelled at by the people who want me to heal, so. I'm surprised I haven't been invaded, I don't know. Maybe I was wrong about this area. Maybe I was dead wrong about this area. I just found it really weird that I got invaded by two different people at like the same time. I thought that was kind of suspicious, but maybe I was kind of wrong. I need to get my bearings back. What was that? Oh, it's blood spot. I need to get my bearings back and figure out what the fuck's going on in this area. I saw these stupid mushrooms and then- Oh, what the fuck? I saw these mushrooms and then I got like double invaded. Thought it might have been another NPC, but he like booked it into the woods, so... Kind of tipped me off there that that might not be an NPC. Of course, this game could have one of those kind of like invisible timers where it's like, if you've been invaded, then so much time has to pass before you can get invaded again. Unless, of course, this is an area with a covenant like that. That might bypass that rule set, but... So many, like, little rando enemies here. It's like a bunch of weird crabs, mushrooms. Nice flooded forest. So many different ways we can go. We can go str like it probably all bottlenecks into the same area, but there's quite a bit to explore here. I have no idea what all of these things are. Like, what is this? It just makes me think there's a covenant here with all these, like, weird things sitting around. All these weird, like, wooden symbols just kind of hanging out. That or we just found out where the Blair Witch was filmed at. One of the two. I'm not sure. Something is breathing really, like, loud, too. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if one of these trees comes to life. I wouldn't be surprised if I have to go back and get more Estes, too. Oh, Twin Dragon Great Shield? What is that? Can't be these enemies. These enemies are. I mean, I guess it could be these enemies, but. 